Go to any high traffic bathroom. It must be a high traffic bathroom. Otherwise, the room won't have enough latent residual energy to carry out the task. A hotel bathroom is perfect. Make sure it's after 12 a.m. And make sure you have two clove cigarettes. The stronger the cigarette, the higher your success rate is. Sit in the dark and begin to smoke one of the cigarettes. Make sure there's a mirror present and that you look at your reflection at all times. The burning cherry should provide just enough light for this. When you've smoked a cigarette within a one-fourth of the filter, the room should be full of smoke. Your eyes will no doubt be watering, but don't blink. Don't blink. Don't take your eyes off the mirror or your reflection, whatever you do. To blink will make all you've done at this point for naught. You'll begin to notice that your reflection is beginning to fade into black. Your reflection of the cherry from your cigarette will begin to separate into two eyes. The smoke in the room will begin to condescend. And before you ever realize what's happening, a shade will be sitting on the ledge of your sink. He'll ask you for a cigarette. Which is why you're instructed to bring two. Give the shade a cigarette which will light itself once he brings it to his withering lips. At this point, you can ask the shade any question you want, and he'll answer true. You can ask who shot JFK, who was Jack the Ripper, anything you could possibly think of. Be sure to keep an eye on how much of the cigarette he smoked. When it gets to the point where it'll only take a few more hits to kill you, the smoke from another cigarette will begin to... Define more of his features, making him more material than other real. At this point, stand up and snap, snatch out his eyes with one sweeping motion. He should still be mostly smoke, so your hands should f pass easily through his head. If you let him finish the cigarette, he will attack you, surely taking your life in the process. The shade will begin screaming and cursing you, and the hand folded in his eyes will be burning intensely. Do not open your hand. Do not. Even though the eyes are disembodied, they can see if you are out in the open. Run to the light switch and flip it on. This will banish the shade's physical form and send it back to the ether. Return the room and wait until 3 a.m. To open your hand. Their burning will be unbearable until then, but to open your hand before 3 a.m. will blow all the lights out in your hotel room, allowing the shade to return and seek vengeance. You will have four burn marks in your palm when you open it, all categorized, of course, and mostly healed. From then on, you can never be in a dark room with a mirror, because the shade will be able to tra track you through the burns in your hands. He'll have black hell dogs now. Given his loss of sight, and they will they are far more terrible than the shade could ever be. The number of hell dogs depends on the strength of the shade you made contact with. After this you'll always be cold, no matter how warm it is, and you'll be given the ability to perform minor miracles. Your dreams will always be nightmares, but in them you'll be granted a kind of third sight. You'll never be able to see anything good. Only the most horrific future events. And these events will only be known to you at a point where you can't do anything to stop them. A small price to pay for absolute knowledge. <laughs>